All right, we're shutting off the house music. Let's roll. All right, now, I hope you've had time. I hope you've had time to read the normal instructions over here. I've got my own cliff notes. Every time I go to tournaments, turn this guy down a little bit. We'll turn him down to nine. Um, when I go to the tournaments, I have nice little papers folded up in my pocket. I type out and I write some notes on them. So I have my own little cliff notes here. So this game, like I said, has no ball saver. So normally on a normal setup game with the ball saver, I would hold the left flipper, shoot the ball around this left loop, and go for this lock ramp right here. We get a quick five million, hopefully, and then it increases ball to ball. But with no ball saver, I'm not comfortable doing that. So I'm just gonna short plunge it to the top. Now when you're playing this game, what I like to do early on, and I haven't seen anybody use this strategy, people probably do, I like to actually go for disco multi-ball. So you'll see me hitting the left loop a lot. Now what that also is gonna do is give me this team up on the left loop. And team ups help you during your gameplay when you're going for shots. You have a team up here on the right loop, up here, and you have a hard one that's over in this uh, this little turnaround shot over here. It's kind of tough. But um, so what I like to do multi-ball wise, and I've some other people have mentioned these things. I've kind of compiled some of their ideas of mine together. But I like playing Juggernaut, the Juggernaut mode up here, the Juggernaut battle. I like playing that with little Deadpool multi-ball. And Sabretooth, I just play by itself because you just hit the loops to get to the pop bumpers to finish it. And Mystique, I like playing it with team-ups, either with the Wolverine team-up, which is the Mystique shot, or these um, the loop team-ups. And Megalodon, the Megalodon quest, I like playing that with Ninja multi-ball, okay? On that ramp right there. Once again, the Ninja locks are disabled on this and most tournaments that i've been to anyways they also disable the locks so they're just virtual locks uh, makes it so no balls accidentally uh you know are, maybe it might release two balls at a time or whatever a player two gets up and there's a ball lock so we don't want none of that we want everything fresh um you shoot the left spinner to get this disco multi-ball going so that's what i'm doing right off the bat and if anybody has any questions chime in in the chat uh, maybe you have a different strategy We'll figure some things out. In between games, I'll look at the, uh, the computer. It's a little bit away from me right now. Oh, I gotta get one important thing here. Gloves. I play with gloves. For germs, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, but not just for that. I play for gloves because my hands, when I played, used to get these little, actually still would play it. Um, I'm sorry, get them. I get these paper cuts on the tips of my fingers when I play, and then I gotta put Band-Aids on and it doesn't work. So I started wearing gloves due to that plus yes for the germ factor because i am a germaphobe but um that was my main my main instance now i feel weird when i play without them even on the games in the house here so um the snick at target you know for your multiplier your playfield multiplier you hit here and they go up the ramp this particular machine for some reason that shot is very difficult so i'm not going to go for the snicket as much as a lot of people would if it happens it happens though but that target really absorbs the ball a lot and it doesn't ricochet too well in this particular model so I'm gonna go right here from the start. There's no ball saver, so I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna plunge it just to the top, okay? I don't care if I get the skill shot. Now I'm gonna go for the left spinner. I'm gonna get that team up ready over there. And I'm gonna get, um, also my goal is to get to disco multi-ball. I like to get the disco multi-ball because you can get a lot of weapons towards, um, towards the mech suit multi-ball, which in a tournament could be 45 or it may be more if they turned it up, okay? So weapons are based on combos, and when you go in the scoop, it will give you the collection of those weapons you've collected. Um, even if I'm collecting weapons all over, it won't actually give them to you until you go in the scoop. But like I said, so you already see I have a team-up ready. The team-ups you can only do when you're not in the middle of a mode or a multi-ball or a battle, okay? I mean, anything. So just normally playing. So I already have the Wolverine team-up because it only required two shots to the left loop. Two shots anywhere else on the other team ups is the same scenario. Now I'm gonna go still for the left loop because I wanna play this um, disco multi-ball. Now if the ball happens to fall into a scoop for the battle, the first battle I'm going to play is Sabretooth because it's the easiest battle. Now I got the ball on the left flipper. I'm gonna go for a lock real quick. All right, I missed the lock. I'm gonna do it again. Oh boy. Oh, lost the ball. And of course, if you hit the right loops, you can get the chimichangas going uh, towards your quest. Oh, wow, that just auto-plunged on its own. No, I'm not sure why. Anyways. Oh, 
I got 20 more spins for Disco Multiple Ball over there. Man, I don't know why the auto plunge is on me. I gotta, I gotta watch out for that. <laughs> oh boy. The, sling, the slingshots are also tighter on this game, by the way. Terrible first ball. We gotta make a comeback for that. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah, I got little Deadpool there if I want to get him going for a multi-ball, but I told you I like to stack that with, um, I like to stack little Deadpool with Juggernaut, so I'm not even worried about that right now. I got Disco multi-ball ready. Yeah, this may be a weird way to play. I, well, now look, I got a battle. Um, I could pass on it, but since it went in there, I'm going to still play Sabretooth. It's the same left loop shot I've been doing, or right loop to get it up to the pop bumpers. So I got this going. Oh, that was a total flail fest. So I had Disco Multiball lit, but since I started this mode by an accident, the battle, I cannot play Disco Multiball. That's, you can only play that by itself. Man, I don't like that feed when that comes out of that. Um, I'd rather have to go to the right when it comes out of the pop bumper. See, I've already got this completed. So I'm just gonna go for the finish. I could try to go for the Snicket target and get a multiplier, but like I said, this this machine is very hard to do the Snicket target. Now it's going to come out. I'm going to I'm going to live catch it or dead. Um, whatever. I'm going to do that, <laughs> and I'm going to go for that. So now I just go multi ball. I'm going to concentrate. I don't really care about the jackpots, even though they're there. I think I played just the multi ball the other day and had like 400 million. So you can get big points. But my goal is to try to get a bunch of weapons so I can get more weapons towards mech suit multi ball. Okay, that's my real goal. And of course, you can get a, a um, add a ball during this multi ball from the Deadpool targets and then hit it in the scoop. Wow, that was that was just terrible. Ain't no 400 millions happening this time. I got a whole 3 million, guys. Well, you know what? That backfired for the weapons. I got a lot for Katana. That was just nasty. That was not good. All right, let me see here. I'm gonna, that was bad. And it takes a lot more spins to get the next Disco Multiball. It's 120 more spins, so that backfired. But in a tournament, that's what I would do to try to get the um, weapons up for mech suit. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this right loop and try to get some chimichangas. By the way, I seen Kaylee George in Colorado. He tricked the chimichanga shot. He somehow short plunged the ball and hit the switch up there and it came back down. And he did something really quick to make the chimichangas be lit to get towards Quest. I don't know how he did it, so if anybody knows, let me know. I, I just, we were kind of away, we couldn't see good enough, but I could see him right from the plunge getting that lit, so. I'm not sure if it's like the Ghostbusters trick somebody was mentioning, because I tried it with the glass off, made the ball go over a switch, that switch, come back in here, and I hit it, I plunged it really fast without hitting this the, um, the ball plunger switch down here, and it still did not do it, so I don't know if I'm missing something or what, but I'd love to know how he did that, it's pretty cool. But I hit it anyways. Did a little loop pass there. All right, so now I'm trying to get these chimichangas to get a quest lit. I love that left loop shot because it's safe. Well, usually it doesn't come back. Whoops. Usually it doesn't come back down, but like it did, but it definitely can. Oh, boy. All right. I have quest lit. I'm gonna try to get another lock though before I play my quest and I'm gonna lock the last one. Oh shoot! You know what? I did not know I had two balls locked, so. Man, I messed that up guys. I'm not playing any modes with Ninja. I really wanted to try to get that on one of the quest modes going with it. But I messed that up, so that ain't happening. Now we're just playing uh, this Ninja multi ball by itself, so I better just concentrate on jackpots. Jackpot. Oh, I got my Attaball lit. I'm going to try to hit it in the Attaball to scoop. Okay, there's that. So right now, during this, you're just trying to hit a bunch of red jackpots and get the super jackpot that um, the, ninja, the 
whatever it's called, the ramp with the katana on it. Is that called the katana ramp, I'm assuming? Oh, why am I trying to do that? I got a ball sitting around. Multiple ball. Multiple ball. I think I have um, the katana ramp thing going on too. Basically like payback time on Terminator. That was just dumb. Wow. <laughs> that went down fast. Oh well. Alright, ball three. I did things wrong, unfortunately. Um What do I have on my quest notes? I like to do Megalodon with the ninja multi-ball, so I guess that ain't happening now unless I light locks again. And if I look over here, it will tell you, spell dead to light the battle, and spell pool to light lock. So I'd have to, I have one more O on the pool target. All right, so at this point, boy, oh boy, tough one. I got some team ups. Luckily, they held over on the outsides. What should I do? Should I just, I have a battle and a quest lit. Maybe I'll play the, um, what did I say? I like to do Megalodon with that. Megalodon with Ninja. All right, um... So you have to have a plan before you plunge. It's very important. You don't want to just start playing. So what should I do before I plunge here? Um, I mean, if you if you complete three battles, you get to go to the Sauron multi-ball, which, eh, it's okay. You really, your goal is really to get this Megalocrocosaurus where you complete these three and then the two quests. So I'm going to go for the T-Rex quest if I can get the ball down here and not lose it. No ball saber, no skill shot. That has a nice feed off the orbit, luckily, I mean, so. Oh boy, see that? Pop right out of there, guys. Woo! Settle the ball down. Okay, we got it in the scoop. We're gonna go for the T-Rex. There ain't no multi-ball. I'm gonna go for the T-Rex quest because in my notes, my notes say just it's fine to play this in single ball. So watch the screen, it tells you what to do. Shoot shots to build T-Rex and then you collect it at the little Deadpool target. And the more shots you hit before you collect it, the more valuable it is. The problem is it can time out on you. If you don't hit the target in time, like right now, if I don't go for it like that, it can time out. I love that shot. I don't know why, but. I did that real quick, so it was about to, it was about to stop on me. Left spinner, the little guy's ready in the middle. Got that shot. I just love that katana shot. I really do. So I know I got I did two this time. Oh, he's ready already. Let me hit another one. One for the road. Uh-oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. No. Man. All right. I guess you can keep going to get some points in that, huh? Some people have to let me know about that. The shots were still late, even though it was ready to complete that at the at the uh, scoop there. So not bad for that mode. No snickets, you know, no 2x, 3x. Like I told you, it's hard to get that this particular machine. All right, so I have battle lit. I'll just get it over with and play Mystique. Now, the thing is, I don't have any of the Mystique team-ups up there. Like I said, I should have. Oh, well, I guess I just have to play it normal. That is really ideal, though, because it will help you complete this. But I have some uh, team ups on the left loop and the right loop. So I'm going to go for this right loop. Loop pass. Now I'm going to go for the left loop, another team up. Oh no, it came out. Collect some weapons. What do we got? 42, so I'm almost a mech suit multi ball. Not too bad, even though I haven't played any multi balls with, um, with a mold. I, like I said, I like that shot, so I like taking that shot in the crowd. Another team up. Got me another hit for the young lady up there. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to do, do a ramp shot. Another ninja. I just like that. You guys are going to get me, but I just, I just love that shot. Okay, I got it. I cleared Mystique out. Now Juggernaut's the only one I have to complete here in order to get um, towards Sauron multi-ball. I've got 47 weapons, so now mech suit's multiplied. So I'm going to get it up mech suit multi-ball. So now I'm starting mech suit multi-ball. You want to just keep nailing jackpots. 
So many jackpots get you a super jackpot lit at the, lit at the scoop. I think this is one of the coolest call-outs for, for our super jackpots in pinball. I love it. If I need to turn the game up or me up or whatever, let me know too, guys. I'm playing with the glass off right now, not to cheat, but because there was a glare where I have this game in the house. So. <laughs> I'm not going to cheat, I promise. But I know it's really loud with the glass off. All right, I need to concentrate on some jackpots. That was a super jackpot. And before you use your booms, see if you got a hard shot to complete, like to get that super lit. Don't just go crazy using your booms in this. Oh, right now I've got the red boom, which will clear all jackpots, because I had a bunch of booms saved up. Now I have to hit it up here and get this add a ball right quick. Yeah, if you get a bunch of booms, I think it's four of them, and, and then it, it turns that button a different color. Oh, boy. Wow, I must already, I must already have my Adabog, guys. But, um, it didn't give it to me. I wanted to stop the balls real quick there. Um, all right, so we're going to keep lighting this up. I got Gatanorama time What is running, but I, I'm not really interested in playing that right now. I have a terrible third of separation. I love the left loop. Le that left loop is like a bailout shot on this, like Attack from Mars. Oh, that was a bad move. I got a super there. Oh man, it, it uh, clunked my super. Did it again. Okay, thank you, Pop Bumper. Katana shot. Told you my favorite one. We're gonna keep reiterate. We're gonna keep uh, saying that over and over. <laughs> My English is bad. Oh, boy. Boom. Oh, I had the ball saver on. Most of you don't know, but I'm Czechoslovakian. I know I speak English good, though. I'm all right. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to calm it down. I have a battle lit. Um, I really need to get this Megalodon, see how I can point with the glass off. Um, need to get that going, because I'm going to get to that Mega Crocolosaurus multiple ball. I passed on that. I don't want to play it. I changed my mind. I don't have any multi-ball ready. I think I have some ninja locks close. Um, wow, I've never played Little Dead. I've never played Little Deadpool, have I? Hmm. Can you play that with, uh, with Dumbhead? I think you can. Look at this thing right here. Dead to light battle. I think I shouldn't have made that mistake and canceled on that, guys. Uh-oh. Well, let me do something real quick here. Uh-oh. All right, yeah. It, it might tilt on me. Oh, buzz off. Um, I don't think I played a little Deadpool yet. I have a bad memory here. Now, obviously, the next dumb move I do like that, I'm going to tilt. All right. Oh, shoot. Can I still start battle? Yes. I can still start battle. I'm a... Oh my lord. I did the ball back, right guys? Can I still start a battle, bro? Look at these dumb mistakes I'm making. Get over here, guy. You gotta start the battle before it releases that. And during this, I honestly don't care like what the jackpot start at whenever you release them, whatever it is. My goal is to hit some shots. And now I have this knucklehead. Now I'll let him out. Now I'm going to start to try to um, clear this mode. Yes, I know that I have a little Deadpool multiple bar going. And I do care about that right now and get the jackpots, but I really want to try to um, complete Mr. Crazy here. Man, look at that, guys. And no add a ball. So now I better be good at these. Oh, man. Oh, that's it. All right, that's ball three. That's my game one. I messed up there. Um, whatever. All right. We're going to do another game, and this time I'm going to try to stack some multi-balls with the modes that I spoke at the beginning of the game that I that I messed up both times that game. I'm going to some notes right here to my one person that's following me. Thank you very much for watching me. Uh, once again... 
we're doing a tournament tutorial on a hard setup, Deadpool. Um, no ball save, so I'm not going for any super skill shots. And the game's set up hard, you know, what you'd find at, a, at an IFPA hardcore tournament. So let me go take a step away for a second. Ah, thank you for that. You can keep playing the T-Rex mode until it times out. Um, I mean, you said it doesn't time out. Here's the question, though. So let's say I'm getting greedy and I have that. Well, when the shot's lit there to complete TX at the scoop or the T-Rex at the scoop, when the shot's lit, does it go away? Like, well, like when you're playing against uh, uh, Mystique or Sabretooth or Juggernaut, does it go away? Or what happens? Does that just keep flashing and wants you to collect it? Are you good the whole time? And then... What if you're getting greedy trying to collect more of those jackpots for um, the T-Rex? And what happens if you drain? So let me know those two things in the chat because I'm not quite sure on that. I'm always anxious to complete it all the time. So, yeah, what happens if I drain? What if it's flashing at the scoop? Hey, come collect me. And I don't do it. Do I lose out on just some points or a lot of points? Let me know about that one. We're going to do another game here. I'll check that out and uh, or let me know and I'll... Yeah, I'll take a look at the screen in a minute, is what I'm saying. Balls up. Use the flipper buttons to select top lane skill shot. Hold the left flipper button for super skill shot. All right, I am back. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go right now with my original strategy. I like to shoot that left loop to get a team up ready. This young lady team up right here, I'm not sure of her name. I'm not really into the superhero thing, but I see her on the insert here. And I also like to get that disco multiball so I can hopefully get some weapons towards um, ugh, a mech suit multiball. Because you can get a lot of weapons in disco multiball. You actually can get a big score in there. Yeah, I never thought you could until I played it a couple days ago. And I don't know how, but I managed to get like almost 400 million during the disco multiball. I was shocked. I don't think I was running any multipliers either. So I don't know. I got lucky. I had two balls going for a while. So anyways, let's... Um, I got my notes here. I want to know about that Kaylee trick. How did he like Quest, man? Kaylee, let us know that trick. Somehow he plunges the ball and he likes Quest instantly before he even gets the ball to the flipper. He was doing it in Colorado. I was like, wow. He always got me. He figures out a lot of stuff. He does. I sure does. These notes, by the way, I compiled. Um, Lewis made some of these notes on Tilt Forums. I think I spoke with Joseph. I've got, look at I've got the shirt on. Joe Styles. I don't know if you can see, but I've got the... Uh, I've got one of our anti-drain shirts on. Can we see it like that? Anti-drain? They're anti-drain on Facebook group. Awesome group he created, and we're just trying to do stuff like this for it. Teach about those tournament strategies. But, yeah, he got this for a bunch of us. Appreciate it. We wore them in Colorado proud. But anyways, yes, Lewis. Um, Travis helped me with some of these notes. Joe helped me with some of these notes. Jared helped me with some of these notes. Just take kind of little bits and pieces of what other people recommend and here they are. And then I come up with my own thing. I, I add some of my own spin on it. I just like to, like to see what other people do as well. All right, so right now I'm going to try to do the Disco Balti Ball stuff, like I said. I got to keep in my mind right now. I want to do Juggernaut with Little Deadpool, and I want to do Ninja Multi Ball. I got it right here with do, 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 Megalodon. Wait, I says Megalodon and Ninja. I'm sorry. Megalodon and Ninja and Juggernaut I want to do with Little Deadpool Multi Ball. So those are the stacks. You cannot stack Disco Multiball with anything, and you can't stack Mech Suit Multiball with anything, and you can't stack Sauron with anything, and I don't think you can stack the Megalocracklosaurus guy with anything either, so that's your mode stacks right there. And when you're playing Mystique, try to have the hurry the um, team-ups. I think it's Wolverine. Yeah, the Wolverine team-up up the center there. To get a team-up lit, you have to hit a shot twice just in normal gameplay, not during any um, multi-ball or mode like I explained. All right, once again, I'm plunging. I don't care about the skill shot. I'm not going to try to do a super skill shot because it's too dangerous. There's no ball saver. The last game, I lost the ball in about two seconds. They ran, I'm, going, I'm going right to that safe shot. The safest shot in this machine is that left shot. I think that and the left ramp are the easiest two shots in this game. Now, look, it started the battle. I could press, hold down this button and pass on it, but I'm going to just play it since it fell in there, so I'm going to go for Sabretooth, which is a very easy um, battle. Yeah, those of you that don't know, you can hold, you can hold, you can hold down the um, boom button and you can clear out a battle.
Oh man. Alright, I got it up top. These flippers are like lying lower than normal. It might be the oh no, that's that's the oh boy. I got really lucky there. Anyways, I think it's the coil stops that are in it. There's like they're like low like Gottlieb flippers. I got the ball on the left flipper. Oh, I forgot I was in the middle of a mode. I was gonna go for a lock really quick. My bad. I need to finish this mode. Concentrate on what I'm doing. Saber tooth mode. Yeah, get those pop bumpers. I don't have any snickets to cash in on. Okay, I'm ready to finish it. Sorry about the play on. Oh no. Oh boy. Get in there, you dumbhead. Hey Jared, can I hit that to get the uh, that? Oh, that I missed. That <laughs> gave it to me. I don't know if you can hit that to get that a final shot. The um, boom, t the boom thing. Probably not, right? This thing is perfect for fly fishing. Clarify for me too. When I'm when I'm hitting those shots like that, like how you know it was flashing and Deadpool wins and all that stuff. When I hit that shot, I still got the points for that mode, correct? By hitting the shots in the play field. And I believe when you hit the final shot, it's just. Is that a combination of all of the points you've got in the mode, or how is that score figured out? And yes, I'm well aware that you can hit the Snicket target, the double, triple, and quadruple, and five times it, but I'm saying how is that final score that you hit in that scoop um, justified? And correct me if I'm wrong, if I don't hit it in that scoop, see how it timed out, and luckily I got it in there. But if I wouldn't have got it in there, I would not have got those final points, obviously, correct? Let me know about that. got to be careful because I already got two tilt warnings. Once again, I, yeah, I could cradle, I could post pass it over here because I'm really going for, um, like I told you, I like to go for disco multiball to get a lot of weapons. But I'm going to right now, since I have it on the flipper, I could pass it over, but that lock shot just keeps teasing me. So I'm just going to take the lock because it's lit. It's teasing me. It's flashing, you know? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm going for it. You stupid game. It just hit, it just activated the boom and I didn't even touch it. Oh well, doesn't matter. Now I got to be careful because I have the next shot up in there is going to light a little Deadpool multi ball. I don't want to play him yet, so I hope it doesn't go in there. Come on, I need three more disco spins. Three more spins at that. Three more spins to get Disco Multiple Ball. Wow, that was a brick. All right. Wow, can I not? Bye-bye. I'm not even going to try to save it because that, that's my punishment for not shooting the spinner like I should have. Look at this terrible game, guys. Ball two. All right. I'm still going for Disco Multi Ball. And this time, if it goes in that battle, I'm not playing the battle. I'm going to let it. Um, I'm going to pass on it. Okay, I got Disco Multi Ball. I'm going to try to play it good. I need to get out of all that. You got to hit the Deadpool target to get out of all ready to scoop. I just did the boom to get a jackpot. Man, oh man. Get in there, get in there. Nope. Yeah, I'm playing that multi ball horrible. Man, I am not getting a lot of weapons towards mech suit at all. Um, I'm going to try to get that guy ready so I can play this battle. Oh. I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna try to play. Hmm. Let me think about this. Amazing. Always wanted a Johnny Seven. Terrific Man, I don't. You know what? It did it again. It chose it. I didn't even hit the stupid boom button. Anyways, I'm gonna try to start small Deadpool multiple ball. Which is also known as Little Deadpool. I like to call him Small Deadpool. Do a little loop pass here. Woo! Hmm. Let's, right now I'm going to try to play this um, 
hold a little bit though. See, I can just let that ball stay in there and I'm trying to play the juggernaut. I don't have to hit it out instantly. It's going to come out on its own in a second here. The jackpots are good and all, but I'm really not interested in that. I'm more interested in beating juggernaut. Thanks, pop uppers. I need some shots. Got some more shots lit for juggernaut. Oh, it's going to give me an add. Is that going to give me an add ball before I've even started the multi ball? <laughs> yeah. I see it. No. Maybe I was a bad whippersnapper for start, not starting the multi ball. I need to get some shots here, guys. That's interesting. So there, there's something for you guys. You get an add a ball when that ball is in the uh, little Deadpool thing he ain't giving it to you yet. Hit my team ups, man. I'm trying to um trying to complete juggernaut. There, now it's ready. Shots at the scoop and it ain't happening. Man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get in that stupid scoop, you dumbhead. As the music gets faster and faster, it's about to time out that scoop to get to get my final 32. Whatever. I didn't play a little Deadpool multi ball good at all. I usually don't though. Nothing new. I usually just not, don't really, really care a lot about that. I know you get some um, super jackpots lit and stuff, but I don't know. I look at the bigger picture when I play this game. I'm trying to get some weapons. So right now, I really need to get a quest going so I can play. Um, does it tell how many locks I have? One lock, lock one more ball for multi-ball. Spell pool to light lock. That, these displays on these newer sterns are awesome. Look at that. So right now I want to try to get the chimichangas going by shooting the right, uh, the right loop, I'm sorry. And then you hit a few shots and it will light the quest at the scoop. I want to get this Megalodon. Is it Megalodon I want to play with it? Let me look here. I gotta look at my notes. I want to get Megalodon. That's the shark with the ninja multiple balls. So I'm going to try to shoot this right loop here to get the quest, the uh, chimichanga stuff going. Man, come on, dude. All right, right loop. Loop fast. Left loop, because it's the easiest shot. It's safe. Sometimes it bounces back. Sometimes it comes out of the pop bumpers like a weirdo. But I like that feed right there. So now I'm going to go for the left ramp, because it's the second easiest shot in the game. I'm gonna go for the right loop because I haven't lit it yet. Man, that was a risky move I just did there. Like I said, these flippers are down a little bit lower. Oh boy, idiot. Okay, I wanted to get quest lit. I could. I also on that lock ramp, I had one of the chimichangas lit, but the reason I didn't go for it is because it would have started my multi ball. So I wanted to get quest lit first. I'm going to choose Megalodon. Now I'm going to go to get my Ninja Lock. So now i got to either hit this left ramp like that because I want the momentum. Hold on, guys. I had to recover from that. Oh, man. I'm going to go for the left ramp again because it gives you a lot. Oh, shucks. Um. All right, I'm going to do something crazy here. <laughs> I usually would not do that. Um, I wanted to try to go for the left hand. Come on. Oh, man. I'm just doing terrible here. I wanted to... Oh, no. That's a bad... That's bad. I wanted to go for the um, left ramp so I get some momentum to hit that. See? Because I didn't get it. All right. Come on. Get up. Man. There we go. You have to get a lot of momentum. Sometimes you can't do it from a cradle on there. So now I've got Ninja Multi Ball with... Um, I got a Megalodon going, so Megalodon, you want to either keep the red target or the blue target working. I'm not sorry, I'm, I mean the, not the target, but the arrows. Man, come 
on. Get out of there. Uh-oh. Man, yeah, that's... See that coming a mile away. Man, I haven't even finished this stupid thing yet. Oh, I wonder if I could have got an atom all if I'd have got it in there in time. I don't remember if I got it or not. And by the way, when the inserts are lit on the katana ramp, you don't have to actually make the shot to go up to the lock. You only have to go around that part, and it will give you um, credit for that ramp. The same thing if you're playing the, um, sorry about that. Same thing if you're playing the, um, same thing if you're playing basically the payback mode. I forget what it's called. But if you hit just that lower part, that will give you credit for that ramp. Man, is Megalodon still running? I got a center shot at the Wolverine shot. I'm hearing all kinds of scary Jaws noises, so I'm, oh boy, uh oh, oh no. All right, can you hit this from this flipper on this game? I don't know. Well, that was a terrible, terrible way to try to pass it over. Oh man, oh boy. I don't know if it was gonna give me, I think it was too slow to give me credit for that. I'm trying to stop the ball to get it back for this middle shot. Man, look at that. I did hit it around there though, it just didn't give me credit for it. Can you do it with this flipper? Probably not, huh? Not unless it's like rolling. I don't know if you can hit that with this flipper. I don't think I ever have. Well, I've got enough. I've got enough weapons to play um, mech suit now. Come on, dude, get around there. Got this Wolverine shot. All right. Sorry about that. I was trying to trying to do a dumb thing and backhand this guy real quick. Man. All right. Woo. All right, so we got Megalodon. Yeah, if I would have had the Snickets, guys, I already know what's worth more. I think Adam Lefkoff beat me at Expo, and he did the Snicket and got, like, I don't know, $200 million. <laughs> he, he did a really good thing. He had, like, three or four X going, and he went past me really quick. Um, with his final shot, I want to say it was, like, 180 or $200 million. It was nuts. Nice learning experience. I lost that game. All right. So next to the multi ball, hit and lit targets. Don't use your boom until you have like a hard shot lit to get to, um, to light your super jackpot. Okay, don't just go boom, boom, boom. Let's wait to see if I have like that. The hardest shots in this game supposedly are the well, the, the U-turn shot and of course the um, katana ramp shot. The second hardest. The U-turn is the hardest. Actually, the stick is the hardest, but. Luckily, you don't have to do a stick it during this day. You get a super jackpot. It's just normal shots. All right, let's calm this down. You could play with a lot of balls and not cradle them, you know, because there's so much stuff in it. <laughs> it's so funny. It thinks I keep hitting the boom button, even though I did not. I have to take a look at that after I'm playing. Done playing. Maybe because I have the glass off, the boom button's uh, closer to the... Uh, the boom switch in there, I'm assuming. I'm like bumping the game and it's giving me booms. Okay, this is going to be rough because this comes right to... Yeah. See? I'm just going to keep them over here and just... Now i got my super lit. I'm just going to play with two balls cradled over here. Okay, that one's gone. I really don't care. I'm going to try to get the super jackpot. Boy. Back to the same thing. I'm going to try to cradle the ball here. You really want to cradle it? You know, you're down to two. I'm going to hit a boom. I'm going to hit another boom. I know it's probably going to give me the easy shots. But I've got so many booms lined up, I'm just going to do it to get my super lit. Okay, I don't mind that left and the right loop shot. Those, those shots I'm happy with. No, I've got, I wonder if my Attaball's lit. Let's see. I don't remember if I got it. Did I? Nope, okay. I couldn't remember if I got the Attaball, guys, so I hit my scoop, even though I didn't have a super lit. I should have a super lit pretty quick. Let that go down. 
Go for my favorite ramp. Man, maybe I should try to get a snicket, but it probably won't make it though. There we go. Like I told you, the snicket on this particular game when you hit the target to go up top, it's not really friendly. So I really don't like to use that in my tutorial. Now, another tournament, you might be playing the game, they can hit that snicket target and hit it up that ramp for your multipliers, go for it. But I'm not including that, like I said, because mine is not, it's just not that easy. I wanted to get another super lift, so I thought I hit that boom button. You gotta be patient with your booms. So right now I've got a I've got a pretty good mech suit going so far. I'm gonna hit that. Just take that. I think I can super lit. Nope. I'm gonna do take my booms though. Man. Get up there, idiot. Oh, I gotta snick it. That was not intentional, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, watch this super. Wasn't intentional, but I'll take that snicket. So now I'm gonna go a little bit crazier with, um, instead of trying to cradle the ball, since I got that two times going, I'm gonna try to play live. Uh-oh, that one's going low. Okay, I'm gonna try to play, you know, without cradling the ball since I got that two X, because I wanna get a lot of points during this. So that was another, I mean, I'm over a billion here, not too bad. Just using this goofy strategy I use. I mean, man, I'm having a really good mech suit. Maybe I should try to calm it down again. I don't have my 2x going anymore. I got another super lit. Now, the reason I hit that ball is because it looked when I hit it up in the air like it was going down the center. So sometimes when you have another ball cradled, yes, you can hit that ball. You might be having one look like it's coming down the middle. You might have a ball cradle. If it's coming down, use your ball to hit it. You know, act like you're skeet shooting. Do that move right there too if you feel like it. And then do that one. And then go over here and get some more jackpots. Get a boom. You just gotta get in a groove when you're playing. My favorite shot. Oh yeah. I got my boom lit. I'm not using it yet though. I wanna wait until I have something left. So I get the uh, super lit. There. All right, let's go to. Man, pretty good mech suit. Ball two. Man, I hope I can get the Megalith Crocosaurus this, this game. Oh, man. Hey, there was a mistake. See what happens when you hit the ball off the flipper? I guess they all can't be winners, huh? That wasn't intentional, though. <laughs> wow, 907 in mech suit. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Um, all right, well, I have T-Rex and Mystique to complete to get the Megalocracula, Mega Crocolosaurus multiple balls. T-Rex, boy, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for some team-ups to help me with Wolverine. I mean, to, um, to, oh no. I'm just gonna play her. I was gonna try to get some team-ups. I was gonna try to get some team-ups to play her, but I'll take that boom. I got a team up on the right. Sorry for the sloppy play. Go over the team up again. There we go. Another team up I was gonna try for. Ah, man, all that bonus just went bye-bye. That's probably, that's probably 200 million in bonus. Oh, well. All right, I gotta take a drink of water. Then we'll answer some more questions in the chat. Thanks, Jared. 
Man. Ugh. Man. Why? You know what? I just auto plunged again. I don't know what's going on here. I did not even do that. Oh, I know why. It thinks I'm hitting the boom button to plunge. Um. Man, I need to. I need to play this T-Rex and Mystique here. I'm just gonna go for Mystique and try to finish it real quick. I could have got. I should have. I could have actually got some um, team ups first. I know I like to call them power ups a lot. If, I, if I'm accidentally saying that, by the way. I love that combo. All right, it's done. Now I have to get another. Um, I got to get the chimichangas going so I can play this megalodon. I don't know if you can get um, something I do not know. Like, I have this the Katana, Katana Rama going. If you hit three there and three there, it's like payback time in Terminator. I don't know if I can light the... This is something I don't know. So somebody got to help me with this one. Can I light the Chimichangas right now by hitting that right loop? Or do I have to wait until this is over? Because I really don't want to play this mode. And it's, I, I'm just going to try it. We'll find out. So I've got 20 seconds. All right. I've got like a, a certain considerable... About 17 seconds left. I'm just trying to get this over with. Anyways, I had to, I, what I'm trying to say is I had some time left, and if you cradle the ball, the timer will not move. So I did not see it start the chimichanga, so that's that's one of my notes. I have to remember that one. I'm just going to do this just to end this mode, and hopefully I get the ball back safely. Because now the mode will end. I'm at zero. Oh, you know what? It lit my quest. So the answer is you can... Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm playing... It's because Sauron's lit. I saw a multi ball because I completed Juggernaut, Mystique, and Sabretooth. So it was not Quest. Quest, I still have not lit the uh, Chimmy Chongos there. Cheese that, uh. So Sauron, just, you gotta hit whatever's lit in the super jackpots at the turnaround spot. Which is like the hardest, the toughest shot in the game. A U turn. I just, it just went up there you know, on its own. It wasn't me. It was so hard of a shot. Try to get control of the balls, and I don't care if I lose one of these. The reason why is because I want to be able to try to play. Um, I want to be able to try to play Megalodon when I come out of this to go for the, so I can play um, the Mega Crocodilosaurus mode. I really don't want to mess around with flailing and losing three balls. So I'm just trying to play controlled right now. Plus, I'm going to get some more um, combos for. Weapons. More weapon combos. Because if you get to 100, it gives you a 2x play field multiplier for the rest of the game. So it doesn't hurt to get some X's. Weapon X. Come on, guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Woo! All right. I don't even, that mode's pointless to me. Okay. Know what time it is? Yes, I know what time Chimichang. it is. Got my chimich chimichangas lit. That means I'm trying to get, trying to get the last quest mode so I can play T-Rex. I like that feed right there. Most Death Bulls are, they do that same feed. Oh no. Quest is lit. So luckily, I have some team ups on both outsides during this quest. Now I'm playing T Rex. What do I got to do during T Rex? Hit the green shaft to light the little little Deadpool drop target. Shoot the stand up at little Deadpool. So you're hitting, you'll see. You're hitting a shot, hitting a little Deadpool. Shot, little Deadpool. And if you hit a couple or three shots and hit little Deadpool, I believe it's worth more. You might see me get nervous during this because I don't want to. 
I want to get to that Mega Clark. <laughs> I want to get to the. Oh, shucks. I want to get to that crazy mode. So, see how I get all nervous? Ooh. All right. Calm down. Take a breather. Jerry said it wasn't timed. It wasn't timed. You do have to complete this. Man, hit a shot. I'm going to hit my favorite, my the safest shot in the game, which is left. But hopefully it doesn't come out the good. Yeah, you want it to come out like that. Sorry, guys, for the flailing. Yeah. All right, it's lit. Come on, man. I gotta get the scoop. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Switch the lanes to get the boom buttons. Yes. Come on, man. Let's get it in there. Now, I don't know if it will let me instantly go in for Mega Crocolosaurus. I think you have to hit it back in there. Come on. 86 weapons. I don't have that 2x multiplier. All right. It's lit. It just boomed on its own again. You dumb thing. One shot. Take a breather. Should I take a drink of water? Yes! We got it! We got it, guys. Oh, man, I feel good. There it is. I was saying it wrong. Mega Crocodonis, not Saurus. Apologize for my earlier pronunciation. This one's the same ordeal. You got a long ball saver on. You want to hit shots, and then after you hit shots, you have to hit it up to that little Deadpool guy. Man, I was getting impatient. I was trying to... Come on. So you have to hit him so many times. He stays lit, lets you bank some shots and get a bunch of jackpots. Now the arrows are lit again. The target's all closed in front of small Deadpool. I just like that combination right there, just to get it, just to get that ready. Man. More shots are lit. Sorry about that. I was unintentional. All right, targets are back up. I got a hit. Oh, man. Oh, I got the ball saved, Ron. Don't tilt. Was that a bug in the game? The ball saver was on. I did a tilt warning, and it did not. My regenerate was on. Some other tilts do that. Or I'm sorry, some other turns do that too. So unfortunately, witness witnessed me not to get my collect at the scoop. I didn't get my collect. Regenerate was on. I should have had a ball save, but I got a tilt warning. I think Star Trek does. There's a few games that do that. Um, let's just see what my bonus was. So only 44. That's not too bad. Um. Man, that's too bad I didn't get that final shot. I wonder how much that was worth. I haven't got to that mode a lot. I thought, honestly, in that mode, I thought when you got to it, I thought that you had to hit one shot, hit that, hit one shot, did that. But I thought it was the same thing as uh, Megalodon. But that mode is so cool, man. Now, look at it. It started a game on its own. I didn't mean to do that. So, uh, let me look at the time here. Well, that's about 10. I think I played enough. I played a couple games. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go over here and see if anybody had any questions before I get off here. So, uh, stand by for a second. We appreciate you joining us. I'm going to upload this to YouTube tonight and cut off probably the beginning of it where I let you read the instructions. Um, once again, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. I'm going to look at the chat, see if there's any questions anybody else hasn't answered in the chat that I may know and they may not, but they probably know more than I do.
Um, thanks, everybody, like I said, for helping me uh, compile these notes. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. We're going to upload it to YouTube, and it's AR Gaming on YouTube. And once again, for all your Family Entertainment Center questions you have, or if you want to vision, visit the podcast that Mr. Tim has, he'll be having that podcast going soon. Plus, lots of information, fectalk.com, fectalk.com. And, of course, today's Pleasures of Plane has been brought to you by AR Gaming Rentals. Rent those pinball machines in Michigan, please. Got arcade games, too. All right, I'm going to go over to the chat for a second, and we're going to bail out of here. Chimes in the background of the clock means, yes, it is 10 o'clock. It's time for us to get out of here. Thanks for joining again.